The BioRad Gel Excision Kit comes with everything you need to safely excise agarose gel bands directly on the Gel.Go imaging system or other gel imagers. To get started, turn on your instrument. Pull out the transilluminator drawer and place desired tray on the transilluminator. Wipe down the tray with alcohol to clear it of any particulates. Next, carefully place your gel in the center of the tray with the ruler alongside it. Acquiring an image is quick and easy on the Gel.Go system. Make sure to follow the instructions for your instrument when imaging. The Gel.Go blue tray can be used to locate bands without risking UV crosslinking. The ruler can be used as additional help to know you have selected the correct band for excision. To excise your band, grab a clean and unused plastic cutter. Use only one per band to eliminate cross-contamination. These plastic cutters will also reduce the chance of harming the glass tray or yourself. Throw away the used cutting tool. Another option is to use the UV tray to locate the bands of interest. Before using the UV light, Make sure that a UV shield is installed and that you are wearing appropriate protective gear. The Gel.Go UV shield allows safe band excision directly on the instrument under UV light. Continue excising the remaining bands of interest. Make sure to use a new cutter each time. When finished, image the gel again to check that the desired bands have been excised. Finally, don't forget to clean up. Make sure to remove the gels and wipe down the tray with a lint-free wipe. This will make sure the instrument is ready for the next user. The Gel.Go imaging system makes band excision on your agarose and polyacrylamide gels quick and easy.